Welcome to Bright Beginnings, a program for educating the parents of young children. This is a 10-modular program and includes information, activities, and resources that will lead to emotionally and physically strong children and families. You will find tools that will help you to raise happy kids and connected families. Some of the things you will learn include what to expect as new parents, how to create a safe environment for early brain development, what it means to have a great attachment relationship with your child, children's best physical development and emotional intelligence, and so much more. For the complete program, it is important to order the handouts available for each module. These are available by emailing becaresforkids at gmail.com. We hope you find Bright Beginnings to be a rewarding and helpful tool for creating healthy, happy kids and families. To better understand what attachment between a parent and a child means, let's start with a little test. True or false? Young children bond easily with a wide variety of caregivers in the first two years of life. The answer is false. Those first two crucial years, infants attach more readily with one or two primary caregivers. The type of attachment relationship a parent forms with a young child has little effect on its brain development. Again, this is false. This attachment relationship forms trillions of brain connections related to language, thinking, motor control, and emotions. Infants in the first six months who cry for comfort or food should not be picked up because they will become spoiled and dependent. False. It's exactly the opposite. Those first six months, infants respond best to immediate and frequent attention and cannot be spoiled by it. Young children really enjoy interaction, but parents should avoid overstimulation. True, too much stimulation can have a negative effect. Young children who have not formed healthy attachments can overcome this challenge through intensive and caring attention. Yes, there are many programs that can help to heal poor infant attachment. Keep in mind that attachment and bonding don't mean the same thing. Think of bonding as the beginning to a healthy attachment, or bonding is connecting the pieces, and attachment is the glue that holds them together. Attachment is based on how well a parent responds to a child's need for care, comfort, and safety. Children form the attachment relationship during the first two years of life. The primary attachment relationship is formed with one or two significant adults who provide the most direct, responsive care. Then there are secondary attachment relationships that help form a supportive web and may include siblings, grandparents, aunts, and uncles, and others. Scientific research has discovered two types of attachment, secure and insecure attachment. Secure attachment looks like this. Children respond happily to interaction or reunion with parents. They greet parents actively. They feel confident exploring the environment knowing where the parent is. They exhibit trust in parents' responses to them. Insecure attachment characterized by anxiety might look like this. Children are anxiously seeking parent but then struggle to get away. They are reluctant to explore new environments. They are easily upset. They exhibit frustration with their parents' responses. Insecure attachment characterized by ambivalence might look like this. Children avoid or ignore a parent. They show little response to parents nearby. They display few strong emotional outbursts. They avoid or ignore a parent's response to them. Most children, about 60 to 70 percent, fall into the secure attachment category, while 10 to 15 percent may show signs of anxiety-based insecure attachment. 
20 to 25% may be in the insecure, ambivalent pattern. Let's look and see how this may happen. There are things that can affect attachment, such as a child's temperament, the context of a situation. Is there a stranger nearby? Is the child in an unusual environment? Early trauma and other things. But the way a parent responds to and interacts with a young child is a key factor in how an attachment develops. Smiling, looking at each other, vocalizing to each other, following, clinging, physical touch hugs, exploring surroundings, feeding interactions, crying, and playing all can affect how attachment comes into being. So what can you do to help develop that secure attachment? Children need sustenance, protection, and regulation to help them grow and learn to take care of themselves. When caring parents meet these needs, trust is developed which leads to strong attachment. If this attention isn't given and needs are not met, in the long term, individuals will have problems with trust of people, institutions, agencies, churches, etc. Failure to have a strong attachment in the early months can be a predictor of later difficulties in school, work, marriage, and a development of social behavior related to crime, addictions, and other problems. There are eight strategic keys for developing secure attachment. Be there. This is often difficult in our times, but the more you are present, the better the attachment. It could mean tough lifestyle choices, and once you are there physically, make sure you are there mentally as well. Learn about understanding kids. Interact with your own and other children by volunteering at a daycare center or going to play and interactive classes with your own children. Get to know their likes, dislikes, cues, and needs. Read, research, learn about parent-child relationships. Attend to your child's needs. Perceive and interpret her cues correctly and then respond in the most comforting and assisting way possible. Know their signal for a hug or food and then follow through. Your response should always be timely. Waiting is not in a child's vocabulary. Trust can develop only when the given cue is recognized and attention is immediate, especially in year one. Smile when they smile, hold them when they cry. These responses help your child to interact with the world. Your response should be warm and caring. All interactions with your child should be nurturing, loving, and understanding. From changing the diaper to answering questions, interact with them from a reassuring and caring stance. Make sure your response is in accordance with their cue. Crying may mean hunger, but it could also mean illness or tiredness. Understand what is fun to your child it may not be fun for you. Follow your child's lead when it comes to play or interaction, not your own desires. If a child doesn't want to repeat a nursery rhyme, don't force the issue, but try to allow them the chance to develop their own forms of interaction. Watch out for overstimulation as you interact with your child. Their cue to quit may be a teary outburst or squirming to get away. Go with the cue and let them take a relaxation break. Sometimes secure attachment is hindered by challenges. If this occurs, it is best to approach professional. Here are some problems that may arise. The temperament of the child. Prenatal trauma, such as low birth weight or medical attention needed at birth. Adoptive circumstances with the child. Foster care circumstances. Parents may have experienced poor attachment as children themselves and troubled or hostile home environment. Secure attachment is the key to raising happy, healthy kids that evolve into productive adults. The more a parent can do in the earliest days to foster a sense of love, security, and comfort, the more easily the child will develop the all-important trust needed to thrive. So, love your child and create healthy attachments that will serve as a foundation for future success.